What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam, this is Van City Audi. We're back at Racing Greed with the B8S4 to do another modification in hopes of making more power. This one's an interesting one for me because I have seen a lot of mixed reviews online. I picked up the integrated engineering upgraded throttle body. It's an 80 mil throttle body. It is a plug and play bolt on part. They have a tune sorted for it already. So we're gonna do a baseline run here. We're gonna do two or three pulls, get our baseline number, what the car is making for power right now. Then on the dyno here at Racing Greed, they're actually gonna install the throttle body for me. Then once the car is back at operating temp, we're gonna tune the car to the upgraded throttle body tune from Integrated Engineering. Then we're gonna do two or three more pulls and see the exact amount of horsepower and torque that this part will make for us. We're going to be running the E40 tune. I'm not going to dial it back to the 93 octane or the 91 octane files. I'm sorry guys, but I'm all about making more power and going as quick and as fast as I can in this car. So we're sticking with the E40 tune today. Right now, I am sitting at about E51. I stressed this before in a previous video and I'm stressing it again. Do not try this at home. I have done a ton of data logging on this car and I am perfectly comfortable with this amount because I know how my fuel system is handling the additional ethanol. We are at the peak of what my fuel system is comfortable with. Anything higher, we're gonna be stressing it too much and I could run lean and go boom. So do not try this at home. I am using the standard off the shelf E40 dual pulley stage two file from integrated engineering, but I'm running slightly higher ethanol content in hopes of knocking back some of that timing correction that I'm seeing. Uh, right now we're sitting, I think at about 600, 700 DA, probably about 20 Celsius. It is slightly muggy out, a little bit of humidity, but much better than the last time I was here back with that Unitronic Stage 1 Plus uh, SQ5 that we had on the channel where it was in the middle of a heat wave. So I'm expecting better results today. So now that you have a full scope of what's going on, let's get those baseline runs done. working really well and now what I'll show you just for fun is to show you an overlay of what we were able to do last time on this file compared to this time. Here's an overlay of what we were able to achieve last time we were here on the E40 tune, 444 and 404. So we're up slightly in terms of horsepower, down in torque. There's the graph comparison as you guys can see. Previously we were making a bit more down low and then up top today is where we made more power on the baseline run. Here's the entirety of the kit that comes with the throttle body upgrade from Integrated Engineering. Now we're just going to get them to install it here at Racing Greed and we'll be able to perform an after run as well to see exactly how much more power this 80 mil throttle body will provide. So this is where the throttle body is located on the B8S4s. This is the last time you're going to see it looking like this. The silicone is going to be wider, bigger, as well as the throttle body. So this entire piece needs to come off. This is replaced, throttle body upgrade is done, and I'll show you what it looks like once we're all done the install. So here's the OEM throttle body versus the upgraded 80 mil throttle body, side by side. You can see exactly why you're gonna be able to get better flow and hopefully make more power. Here's the brand new gargantuan 80 mil throttle body upgrade. Damn, it looks good. Whether it works or not, we're still gonna find out. 
But that piece looks huge and looks shiny and hopefully will make the car make more juice. Time to tune the car so it knows that that throttle body is now installed and we are going to be using the E40 Ethanol Blend version 3.15. A bunch of information pops up down here just giving you the warnings and to let you know what needs to happen in order to make the gains that they advertise. Next thing we're going to go do is next and then yes baby it's about time. Let's make some serious power and it reminds you again for those people that are just nuts and can't read the first time everything that it requires in order to make the power that they advertise on their website. Yes, my car meets this requirement and actually exceeds the requirement. It also is free. Once you've purchased the dual pulley E40 file, this comes free of charge. So that's pretty sweet as well. Tuning the car and then we'll get to doing another hit. Throttle body's in, car is tuned, back at operating temp. Time to do a few more rips on the dyno and see once and for all how much power this throttle body upgrade actually makes from integrated engineering. wanting to give every piece of hardware that I put on the car the best chance of success. We did five runs, full transparency. The first run we did, we actually lost power. <laughs> but then the next four, we gained successively on each run after, but not as much as you'd think. Here we go, before and after results. You can see that there is a slight gain through the entire power band from start to finish but it was only for a gain of six and a half wheel horsepower and seven foot-pounds of torque. Not as much as I was hoping for, definitely a little underwhelmed. I was hoping for more power gains from this, but you can see the gain throughout the entire pull, which is nice to see rather than just gains in the middle or gains up top. But the total gain with that throttle body upgrade was six and a half wheel horsepower and seven foot-pounds of torque. 458 wheel horsepower, 407 foot-pounds of torque are the final numbers today here at Racing Greed. Stage two, dual pulley, E40, throttle body upgrade. I think I remembered that all. I was hoping for more guys, gotta be real with you, as I always try to be. Full transparency, I was hoping for more power from this upgrade. I'm glad it made something and I'm happy to see that I'm able to prove to you guys that it actually does make power. It doesn't make as much as I was hoping for. I was hoping for, I don't know, at least 10 wheel, but such is life. I'm bringing you guys real results. Nothing fudge, nothing changed. I'm unbelievably transparent with you guys on all of these videos so you know how well or how poorly parts work. This throttle body upgrade from Integrated Engineering did make power, just not as much as I was hoping for. But now that I got a smidge more power, we gotta get back to the racetrack. And we gotta see if I can get this car to go even faster. If you haven't seen my last drag racing video, make sure you check it out because I think I managed an 11.2 at 121 and it was against a very, very cool car. So it was a really fun race to watch. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet and stay tuned for more upcoming drag race videos in the B8S4 now that we got a smidge more power. Thank you all for watching and until next time, take care.